YouTube, this is Pop. Today I want to talk about iOS 7 skin for iPhone 3GS running on iOS 6.16. If you update it to iOS 6.16, then um, you will still have the old uh, um, iPhone look and feels. And yeah, you won't have these looks what you're seeing now. I will make the screen a little bigger. And to show you that this is an iPhone 3GS, we will go to the about. And I think here you should be able to see it. MC637NFA. Just check it out and you will see that this is a 3GS with only 8 gigabytes of RAM and I think it's a fantastic nice little phone oh yeah I think you can see that it's a 3GS somewhere here <coughs> there you go 6.16 but to get this you must jailbreak your device and I made a real nice little video of how to jailbreak your device and let's go to the live desktop again so we can look at the same things and jailbreaking your 3GS can be done in two ways. You can do it on Tetrit with some voice, pong, I can't even pronounce it, app. But that thing doesn't work and I really uh, tried it on several computers. I tried it on the Windows and I tried it on the, my Mac. But the latest version was not even you know opening so I don't want to talk about that I want to talk about uh, the jailbreak that I made a video about that is with uh, uh, with red snow and you also need iOS 6 to point red snow to iOS 6 and it's a tetrad jailbreak meaning that if you turn off the um, the phone then you know um, you need to Put it into a DFU mode, point again to the iOS 6, you know, and then with Red Snow, do a just boot, and then you know the phone will boot. So, but let me tell you about this procedure how to get the phone like this. If you already did the jailbreak and you already did the just boot, then you will see that you finally have Cydia. And let's go into Cydia. When we go into Cydia, the first question it will ask you. What you are user hacker or whatsoever whatsoever just say that you're a user and then wait for it to load some stuff it will also want to do uh, a upgrade skip it for for now you know don't do the upgrade yet because i found out that you know things went wrong uh, the whole screen was not working anymore after the boot because it's it has to do with the jailbreak so listen good what you must do when everything is you know kind of loaded in the search you will type iOS 7 SD that's the only thing you will type and when everything is loaded you will finally see that there is one package that you can download and that's called iOS 7 SD it's um, kind of complete makeover for your iPhone 3G or in fact any device that runs uh, 6.13 in fact any device uh, even on iOS 4 you know 4.1 can um, get this looks and feels even <laughs> the boys of White Door uh, managed to get these kinds of look and feels uh, on, uh, on the iOS 3.13 yes and i have an example here of that and here it is this is a 3g you see and it looks even better than well i think they did a great job also under the engine let me show that to you you see that it's even more colorful more colorful than 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 you know um yeah, it looks amazing and this is the white door software but this is only for 3g and for 2g this was for the people that were left out by apple you know and these hackers they you know they made a new little thing up here we can do upgrade essential you know but we can also ignore it 
because in fact yeah you know and just look for the iOS 7 SD team install it and then you will have to reboot and here comes the trick what you then should do is just hit the home button you know hit the home button so the reboot goes away and you come into the screen and then you press both buttons the home and the power until the phone goes off let go of the power a second press the power again only the power until the logo uh, appears and then hold down the home button as well you know keep holding them both until the logo disappears and then after one second you let go of the power button but you keep holding the home uh, button pressed until you will see in um, in red snow that the phone will be connected into a DFU mode you will need some tools to do this if you did not jailbreak your phone yet I think I made a folder here somewhere uh, tools to jailbreak break the 3GS of course your phone is on 6.16 and then you will put it into a DFU mode start up red snow and then you will go to extra and then you will select IPSW and you go to where you have the iOS 6 IPSW um, stored I have it in here so I will just select IPSW 6 not the 6.16 that it's running the 6 you see and then it says uh, identified successfully I know that this is a new boot room you should know what kind of boot room you're having so do some investigation about that and then when you did that peeps then you just hit just boot okay if you did not jailbreak yet you know this is not a jailbreak tutorial but then you ha you should you know do the same and then hit um, hit jailbreak okay so um, it says here unknown device in DFU mode this thing is not correct it is not it's not uh, I'm also jailbreaking on my on my other Mac because in some way uh, jailbreaking is not going too good anymore on here probably because it has the latest uh, I, uh, iTunes and all these things so you know so that's it um, yeah and after that you just boot when you selected when you selected the IPSW you just hit just boot and then you know uh, if everything goes good you will see a little pineapple booting up and then you will have Cydia and then you must do these things that I just told you and then in fact you um, you will have this beautiful uh, thing on your iPhone 3 GS this is a uh, 3 GS I can remove it out of the cover for a second you can see it it's an old uh, iPhone 3 GS <laughs> I remember some years ago that I paid <laughs> a lot of money for this 3 GS that I got for almost free now these days <laughs> I know what's in it and I know what it can do and I think it's a fantastic phone so peeps that's how to get it um, if you have issues by the way with iTools that iTools is not showing your desktop like it shows mine then what you should do peeps what you should do then is look for iTools version uh, 0116 it's a beta version iTools 2013 and just install that one and it will then work or just activate the phone one time with that old version you know and then suddenly it will also work on the newer version I don't know what this Chinese did but it's all good to me you know uh, it works I can show my 3GS I can now uh, of course also show uh, some apps and some little tricks that we can do but it's more gonna be some kind of like app uh, reviews that I'm gonna do on here 
you know things you can still do great under uh, or on a 3gs and we're going into the app store for a second let's check the free and because we're running a 6.1.6 .6, most of the apps you know are like working of course you should not go look for ios 7 apps because of course these are for ios 7 but i think um you would have no problem running whatsapp and skype and stuff like that but remember the more you put is the more um the heavier it will get and then you know your phone might get slow oh yeah also things you want to do if you're um let me download this real fast things you want to do if you're uh, running ios 6.16 on the iphone 3gs is go to notifications and make sure that all these things that this is set by on manually you know and that you just turn all these notifications off you know just turn them off you see that i turn them off because these are my uh, yeah memory mind huggers i want to say mind huggers but these are um memory huggers so you must really turn them all off when you did that uh, you will find out that your you know phone is real quiet don't use no iCloud nonsense here don't log in with it you know um, yeah that will also make the phone more quiet and of course uh, don't use your GPS if it's not needed you know turn it off location settings turn it off you know um, things like that will make the iphone 3 gs just a fine phone still to use with a lot of class more class than any samsung phone you know out there yeah sorry for you iphone uh or for you i <laughs> but what i want to say uh, sorry for you uh, samsung users but then again don't forget apple was a very good customer of samsung <clears throat> and Samsung start you know stealing the ideas of Apple you know there were there were like many lawsuits so Samsung is a company that you know built its career not only on good technology that they bought by the way from the Netherlands the chip technology was bought from was invented here in Holland so you know all the chips that are being created there in Korea in fact it was founded here in holland <laughs> so i'm really proud of that and the a7 processors that are being made for the phones now they also come from holland now you know so apple is not buying their uh, processors at samsung anymore but they buy them here in holland yeah so i'm really proud of that of course i think there will be also other places probably where they i don't know but this is the information I got correct me if I'm wrong but I'm proud of that so um, yeah I'm just installing YouTube and I'm gonna put a phone on here and you can see the looks and feels they are beautiful um, the blur of the of the dock <clears throat> in some way I never get it to work you know and in fact I don't really care because I like it like this I really do it looks fantastic maybe I can do something in settings with the blurring of the dock let's take a look we go to um, with the board select themes um, dim icons no dock label transparent dock maybe that I don't know so let's respring And then, beep. Okay, there she's back. Boom. Let's take a look at the dock. Nope. I'm not getting the the transparency for the dock, but I don't really care. So if you like this, uh, don't forget you need. Um, iOS 7 SD 
team after you jailbreak your iPhone 3GS or iPhone 4 or iPad 1 and this looks just like the iOS 8 team you know I mean like iOS 8 looks kinda like this what I'm seeing there looks kinda the same right I don't see much difference it was a well done job the 3GS and the 6 grandma and granddaughter together both looking sexy as hell so that's why I have them both grandma and granddaughter <laughs> <laughs> peeps i'm gonna end up this video once again this is the second uh day of the new year so you know um i hope you had a great old year i hope you have all your fingers still if not i'm really really sorry uh next year be more careful not to lose the other fingers to you i want to say thanks again for watching peep i was not joking this was just some silly old years joke eh? so um yeah whatever till my next video and if you like this information and this video of course you must like it and subscribe to my channel at all time so let's see how to close this mm. F10 I cannot get out of this anymore peeps is stopped.